Good afternoon, Piscianos. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are out there enjoying the day. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, done personals, and gave donations. No personals at this time. I caught a little bit of insomnia last night. I couldn't fall asleep till, I think it was like three. It was terrible, terrible. But it happens. Sometimes it happens. And then the night before I had like the best sleep. It was a long sleep though, so I don't know. I'm trying to find balance. All right, spirit, angels ancestors and higher beings please help me with this message today for my beautiful pisces people my piscianos what messages do we have for pisces messages for pisces we got the sun card coming out in reverse let's see five of swords in reverse the emperor nine of cups Queen of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to say it the way I feel it, okay? It might sound a little off and crazy to you, but I feel like there's a person in your life, Pisces. I'm getting a male figure. Um, it could be a female still. Take it how it resonates. Um, but I'm getting a person in your life. Um, it, it gives me warlock energy. Like I get warlock energy. Um, very witchy. I, I don't think maybe they do. I'm starting to feel it more and I feel like they do. They do have like an understanding of the energies and how to use them and maybe they don't use them all for good. Some of them are just naturally born with this gift or this talent. one second I feel like this person is calling you does that make sense to you Pisces because I, I feel like this person is trying to connect with you but like in a telepathic way um, it's like their energy I don't really understand this like it's like their energy is calling on you they they want you they want you that's the feeling that I'm getting. They want you. Uh, we'll go deeper into that because I'm not 100% sure about that. It gives me the vibe of romance. I know it sounds weird. It's like they're trying to... I feel a sexual attraction. That's what I'm feeling right now. But we'll get deeper into it because I'm not really sure. Yeah, they re they're very lustful. They, they want you. They want to be around you. But I feel like they are also giving you subliminal messaging. Subliminal messaging. Um, they're trying to program you so that you lose some of your powers. You lose some of your, um, your senses when it comes to them. I'm going to be... I don't think it's... What is that? Incubus, succubus energy? It's not that. I felt that one before. It's not that. They have a natural um, sexual attraction. I can't explain this. It's like animalistic. It's like raw, you know? It's like they, and they know how to harness it too. So I feel like you might be dreaming about this person, Pisces, and I feel like you're dreaming about them because they're sending that energy. They're doing some type of um, rituals, some type of, I don't know, it could be just wearing certain bracelets. I don't really know what this entails but i am feeling something about some types of rituals to be more attractive to get into your subconscious to put out their pheromone pheromones um and grab and have you gravitate towards them um i feel like i don't know some of you may not actually be in contact with them but you're definitely feeling them especially i i get at night it's like they want to have something with you I don't feel them all bad. Of course, I don't, 
I, I don't quite understand it, but I don't feel that they're bad. I feel like they're just really good with their energies, Pisces. And do they manipulate it a little bit? Yes, I am feeling that. Okay, this is interesting. I'm going to clarify a little bit because I need a lot. <laughs> I need clarification. I was like, what? What? I'm going to start off with the emperor. Spirit, tell me more about this emperor. I think they're trying to unstuck you or unstick you. Maybe, no, I just don't feel it bad. I was gonna say, maybe I am feeling the incubus succubus, but I'm like, I don't feel it bad. Who, tell me more about this two, this uh, emperor, two of swords in reverse. We got the Queen of Swords. In reverse, twice. Liars. Liars. Give me one sec. Oh. Okay, so I'm getting the sense, Pisces, that this might be like some type of admirer that you have, okay, it's coming to me more clearly. This might be some type of admirer that you have. And I feel like they notice that maybe you're not sad, that you're kind of sad, or they're noticing, um, I don't know, your unhappiness or your withdrawnness. I'm getting the sense like, yeah, you, you isolate and they kind of see that. And they're trying to send you some joy to open you up a little bit, if that makes any sense. They're trying to, um, energetically help you and heal you so i don't know i don't feel like it's an incubus or succubus because incubus and succubus they want to suck the life out of you that's what they do and it gives me this other energy this energy is very different this one is someone like an admirer someone that has kind of been smitten by you and i i don't know they see some type of hardship that you have and so they're sending you some type of messages. Now, it doesn't have to just be telepathically. It could be literally. Um, it could be some type of secret admirer that you have at work that has noticed you. But this person has abilities. They're very understanding of their energies. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords in the reverse. It's like they're help, trying to help free you. Like they see so much potential in you. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but it's like they see so much potential in you. Oh, they see the possibilities with you. Um, they see what you're about. They appreciate it. They see what kind of, um, how hard you, you work, your hustle, Pisces. They see all that. They see your gifts and your talents. And they kind of want you. This is a beautiful energy because they want you to be more. They want more for you. I guess some of them may not be contacting you because they know you're in a situation. Maybe they don't know how to approach you. So that's why they approach you through the energies, you know. So if you're dreaming about them, fantasizing, you know, regularly, I don't know, I'm getting like a, a very sexual vibe. If you're getting more of that, I feel like somebody's sending it to you to make you happy, if that makes any sense to you guys. I also feel that this person admires what you do. They appreciate you, Pisces. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. I don't feel them bad. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. 
Nobody wants anybody in their space, energetic space, of course. But I feel them more as an admirer. Four of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. They feel like you lost something. They feel like you're not like whole and they're trying to make you whole again. Could this be just, I, I'm, I don't know. It could just be some type of spirit, but I, I, don't, I don't feel it that way. I feel like it's an actual person. Like there's an actual person with big abilities that's trying to send you healing, like love for yourself, like appreciation for yourself, like helping you to wake up to the beauties that are around you and how special you are. I think sometimes, Pisces, you kind of close up in a ball into this, you know, situation where you want to be left alone um, and you, you're okay with being, you know, maybe single, but I feel like this person wants to open your eyes up to, to, to the beauty of having good relationships. All right. Do the Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. They want you to have it all. They see that you're thinking from a slow, like a, a not a slow perspective, from like a, uh, like, I don't know how to explain this, Pisces. Like you, you don't, you don't want, you're focusing on one angle in your life, but you're not seeing the bigger picture that you can actually have it all. And they actually want you to see that. They want you to change the way you think, tower card. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They see that you've been alone for a long time. I don't know who this person is, Pisces, but you definitely have an admirer. An admirer with talents and gifts. Let me find out about this person a little more. Because they're all up in your space, in your head. Tell me more about this admirer spirit. King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, they're attracted to you. Um, I don't even know how to explain how hard they are attracted to you. I guess you would have to be to try to invade someone's space, you know, energetically, emotionally, telepathically, whatever this is. is it's like they have to have a, like a, a serious attraction towards you. They, they look at you as, and I'm going to be honest, not as their equal, I feel like they believe that they're more talented, but they see a lot of beauty in you, a lot of potential in you. I feel like they don't want you to be single anymore. I don't know. I want to know more about this person. Tell me more. Tell me about this person specifically. The fool in reverse. They're very impulsive. They do a lot of impulsive things. Tell me more. Page of Pentacles. They are, it's an entrepreneur, some type of entrepreneur. They know how to get um, what they want in life, how to start it from, from nothing to something they know how to grow like that I don't know how to explain it from yeah from nothing to something they're big growers they they go by their impulses by their feelings by their emotions one more tell me more ace of swords I don't know if you really will communicate with this person Pisces I just feel that they are happy being in your spiritual world, in your energetic field. I know it sounds weird and I don't know who this person is. And I, I, I swear, I feel like it is somebody that you may know, may not know, but they know you and they're very attracted to you. But they're OK hanging around your energetic field. And sending you some type of good vibrations. I like it. <laughs> I like it. It feels good. Okay. 
Let's get some advice. Oh, the powers that some people possess out there, Pisces. My goodness. Be careful. You might get trapped by Pisces. You're admiring. You're admiring a lot, I feel like. Whoever you are, you are admiring. Don't get trapped. Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces? Because one minute they think they're so much more powerful than you but in reality Pisces is not a guppy Pisces is not your regular hippie <laughs> no very evolved spirit what advice do we have for Pisces Possibilities in the reverse. Why possibilities in the reverse? I don't feel like this person is a foe. I just don't think this is anything's ever going to come out of it, though. That's the energy that I'm getting. But you do have an admirer. If you're experiencing some weird stuff, it could be sexual stuff, Pisces, um, eroticisms and stuff. Uh, it's that. Tell me more about the possibilities in reverse. Hangs, man. Pisces, you're not going to allow anybody to manipulate your, your energy field. You enjoy it. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're enjoying it. It's, it's nice, but you know better. Um, this is confirmation for you. If you've been experiencing something and you think somebody's been sending it to you, yes, this is confirmation. But you know this. That's why you're the hangman. And you're observing it and you're feeling it. And now you're getting confirmation on it. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.